Hey guys, so Friday night. It's a good night to be playing with two balls. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is set my timer as usual. Hope everyone's had a good week. Hope you've all been doing the, th the big rocks, the big three movement, matching your nutrition to your movement and re energizing. But, Sandy asked about doing something for her shins. So we're gonna start with one ball. So I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna use two balls. So we can sort of get a double whammy on it. So I'm gonna bring it down so you can see my shin. Oop, bring it down a little bit further. There we go. All right. So if you can see here, I'm using it to twist into my tibialis, which is the meaty part just the other side of your um, shin bone so don't do it on the shin bone because that will hurt you want to do it just a bit further back work your way up and down it's a little bit gnarly i'll start the timer so once you start get into it while you're there use the ball to smash into this as hard as you can with your pressure so if you could oh if you got more pressure oh yeah push it in there don't go too hard like go hard enough where you feel like you're getting something out of it. And the twist is more about the fascia release underneath. So you're trying to twist and get the skin to pinch. Oh, it's really, really gnarly at the top there. Whew. So twist and pinch. We're gonna do this for two minutes. At the minute mark, I'm gonna show you a, a sandwich press with the, the two balls, as weird as that sounds. Mum said not to play with your balls in the lounge room. Where are you meant to play with them, Nigel? <laughs> just leave, just don't, don't want to take away options. We want more options. <laughs> All right, now, using two balls, one on top, one underneath, and push down hard. So you're getting it from both sides. So let it roll up. Push down hard and twist. So now you're getting a massage from both sides of your shin. Oh, and it feels gnarly. Twist and pinch, twist and pinch your balls. Probably don't twist and pinch your balls. Thanks, cat. Might end up in hospital. In saying that, we might not need to have kids anymore, so we might be all right. Wow. Twist and pinch, as cat put it. Oh. Ah. This is gnarly. 15 seconds, and we're gonna get outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Three seconds, and we'll go to the other side. All right, two minute timer. A two minute vasectomy. <laughs> right, twisting into your shin. So remember, just this side of the bone, not on the bone, because. All you're doing is just taking hair out. And that's if you got hair. Twist and pinch. It's pretty gnarly. Oh, like there's there's really good for me on both sides. That's just like grumpy. Oh yeah. Oh old man noises, here they come, Nige. Kids are in bed, past <laughs> PG. <laughs> By in bed, do you mean for Nurgan? <laughs> now it's really good doing live videos because you can tell your own dad jokes and laugh at yourself and no one can, you don't, doesn't matter if anyone's on the other end or not. Really only doing it for yourself anyway. All right, twist and pigeon. So now with the ball underneath again, just as it, other side of the shin, and then this ball on the top side. <laughs> you can tell it's Friday. And then twist and pinch, creep, twist and pinch, creep, twist and pinch. So you're sandwich pressing, I like calling it a sandwich press because everyone knows what that means. You're sandwich pressing, so you're pushing down on the bottom ball, and then the top ball's pushing into the top up here. So you're getting a double whammy. Double hoo-ha, double bang bang. Double Shazam! Oh. Whew. 
Ah, uh, gnarly. 10 seconds. Ah, oh, that's my spot. Ah, oh, that's my spot. Ow, 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 ow. Right. Now, get to look at my lovely feet. Ah, right. now we're gonna do a foot scrub. So we're gonna do a minute on the bottom and then we're gonna do a minute on the top. So, so you can see my lovely feet. Look how good my feet are on camera. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Rub and scrub. You know, just grab your foot and rub and scrub into the bottom. Trying to get it as red as you can get it. So get it as red as you can get it to make blood rush to it to start the healing process. That's the idea. You can do twist and tack down and twist into it as well. Especially in these spots in your foot here. In the arch of your foot, just tack down and twist and twist and twist and getting your scrub again around the back. We're gonna go on top in 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I'm really good at counting. Get in there real good. Get in there as hard as you feel like you can. Like in here is my spot. Oh. You can tack down on it and just move it around. You can't overdo this part. Might look weird, but it works. And then on top. No, no, my camera's gonna do its weird thing. Hang on. No, no. Oh, this is terrible. Hang on. I haven't started the time yet, so this doesn't count. Oh, what the? Ah, there we go. I don't know if you can see my foot there. <laughs> the old <audio> version, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're on top. Time is already gone, so hopefully you've been scrubbing on top. But anyway, we'll go a little bit further. This is where you're not going to lose all your hairs. So rub and scrub on top. If you're a hobbit and you've got lots of hairs on your feet. Okay, you can see there now. There we go. Scrubby, 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 scrubby. Ignore my timer when it goes off. Around the back. Get in there, in the arch in here again. How good is this? Just looking at someone's foot for the whole two, two minutes. Now we're gonna get outside. On the bottom of your foot first. Starting meow. Hang on, I'll turn it this way so you can see. This is probably, you haven't done a lot of trail running so I haven't got any blisters to show you at the moment. Got a little one there, you can see that. It's the only hot spot I've got sort of coming up. Got all my toenails at the moment. Not enough downhill work. Keep scrubbing into it. Keep going. Time is on. 30 seconds and we'll go back to the top. I'm going to tack down and twist and twist. Chinese burn your foot with the ball. <laughs> Got to use a different term. The ball just sounds dirty now, thanks to you guys. Rub and scrub, rub and scrub. Rub and scrub, rub and scrub, rub and scrub, and rub and scrub. And then on top. My team who runs tonight was nearly already. <laughs> was that the 400 meter lap and then the carry? Was the carry red as well, or just the run? You know it's working when your feet start getting really hot and itchy. My other foot's just like raring to go. The field still looks really good out there at the unit, so that was pretty cool. I think it's like a full lap of that oval is a bit more than 400 meters. Because Stegs and I was do were doing it, and can't remember what it worked out to be. Steggles. Steggles fresh chickens. 10 seconds. And then we're going to do a bit of a mobilizer on each foot. Yeah, it's super soft. All right, I'm going to keep it in that view so you can see. Two minutes. 
We're going to be doing circle work with our feet, so trying to mobilize your foot. And if you find somewhere where it's stiff and sore, like for me, I'm sore there, so I'm going to hang there and stretch for a little bit and then go on with mobilizing again. Once again, we're just getting ready for the next, when all the clubs open up. You can stand at the bar and just do this with one foot. There you go. Just gonna say, oh yeah, nice and soft. Go back the other way. Like I don't have a lot of range in my big toe. So if you see here, that's about as much stretch I can get on it. So it's not very, I don't have a lot going on there. So th I should be doing this way more than what I am. Roll around, we've got a minute 10 to go on this foot and then we go to the other side. So with the shin, you want to get your foot behind as much as you can and drop in and get that stretch right through the front as much as you can. So I'll go back a bit. So yeah, right through the front, through there, you want to get the stretch. And to get on the inside, you got to drag it across like that to try and get that stretch there. Keep moving around, get that mobilizing going. Skank leg, look at my skank leg. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, feels amazing afterwards. While you're doing it, you can find some really grumpy bits. Like I found some really nasty parts. 15 seconds. we go that's it yeah. all right shake it off and we go to the other side once again find the spots where you know oh my this is this side's pretty good actually i just want to put these in the screen there we go two ball friday that's what it's all about Not long to go, minute 30 and you can all go chill out for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I had John Travolta's moves. The whole hip going. Oh. Minute to go, keep mobilizing on it. Must fit you to publish. <laughs> you can do it down. So doing it standing is a bit grumpy. You can go kneeling and just find the stretch and just hang on it. Find where it feels good, where you get the biggest stretch. Ballet feet. Oh, that's nasty. Same thing. You can do it down here, mobilizing it this way. It's a bit harder, but you can still do it if you're worried about standing up and doing it on your knees. Put a pillow under your knees on the ground and go berserk. 30 seconds. It's gonna get in that stretch there. That's my favorite one right now. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, there we go. 15 seconds. Mobilizing. Finish it off. So that was today's R word, Re-energize word. So I'm gonna make an announcement tomorrow. There's some of you guys watching now already in the seven day challenge or know about it. But we have a seven day, seven day challenge starting on Monday. I will make a big announcement about it tomorrow. So everyone who's already in the group can join up to it. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Friday night. Enjoy your weekend and get ready to start the seven day challenge on Monday. But yeah, if you only just tuned in, go from the start and find two balls. And get stuck into your shins. Your shins need some loving. All right. Bye.